As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. Not looking pretty. Mind your manners. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind him. What do you bet? So long.
Dead tired, huh? to clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vain... Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I mean... Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive. And no... Barry, what are you talking? She's not told you? The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vain. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on track. Theft or no theft, Croc. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch the no alien magic taste hold. Secondly, after the catacombs have occurred, Croc turned to us for help. Third! No! Quickly! Follow me! We must neutralize the mask! The storm, damn it. Like that silver. saw the foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. 
Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell. Gonna read my... You object? You do it whenever you... No harm in it, then, is... Let's go. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come. Let's find the next spot. Magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. The place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of survival. I know what you're thinking. But don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated get- Siri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle of- Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with your son? Look at what you've brought down on us! We'll see what crack- Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed. When he learns what's happened here... Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. So? I've got a feeling we just need to examine one more thing. We're flying in that direction. Something's pinned in. That tree. Can I you... can. Clean. 
No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for... But... It's a long story. Did she, perchance, inherit... Ciri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk. It itself a strange occurrence for that. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted. The anyone survive? Or not? Next. I'll meet you on the beach near Lop. Wait. Can't we go together? Right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned... Quite a few years since I was last on this film. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be... Raised huts and gathering of some kind. There's no good time to talk about the war. They barely sprouted whiskers. But in the bright daylight. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption. But we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Ciri. Ashen hair. I'm sorry. She Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I bear it. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables. A thousand curses upon him. This craven you mentioned. He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's... You've come too late. He went to the garden. Morkvarg. Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children. Pregnant women mm -hmm. know the type. They said he feared only one thing the wrath of the gods. Borkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindusfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. The archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And more curse? A monster? I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sp It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. I understand, but I speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvark and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone, he settled in Larvik. 
You'll find him there at the landing. Where is this hole? Not far from here. North. We cultivate- And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain- A coward who willing- That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed more- And thus regain his honor. Trial by ordeal. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect our- Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sick. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. Sweet mother. Yes? Yes? Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. Hey, Geralt. Come back. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where should we start? Let's go to that tree, the sister mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains. See them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is what? No offense, but in... Ball and chain? Plan to say it just... Fine. We'll... Fine. Don't get hurt. Remember? Oh, come. I was just teasing. Mm. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Light prints. Craven trod carefully.
bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Looks like Morkvark got bored of sneaking around and attacked. Like Morkvark got bored of sneaking around and attacked. doesn't give up easily. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round.
No bite marks. Morkvark doesn't eat his victims. Strange. Is it Craven? No, this one's been here a while. What? I can't hear you. If you want to chat, come closer. Her senses are really dulled. Lots of prints, old and new. This lair must be nearby. Cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work. fell through the crevice years ago. moving here. Must be another cave above, or a way out.
key, Ramond. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramond? You thief, you rogue, you horse son! I will find the key without you. You can understand. It's the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will. So, no joy. Nay, <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Not uh, the garden. <laughs> Anything I devour returns to ash. Ash, I got. The hunger is terrible. Ah, terrible. I bite my. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those. Help, or I'll return to shred. See what I can do. See and do. Or...
See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to us. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> this shite again! <laughs> Farewell. See? Floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Craven's blood. These prints should lead me to Craven. Or his body. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. This door must have smelled something Some beyond Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Mark Frog doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Well, Starting to envy you. Wish to appear. <laughs> if I have to. Warriors. 
him. <laughs> they knew they could not kill me. <laughs> so they let me know what I did. <laughs> I bit my leg off <laughs> to free myself. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. <laughs> This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt